Hey everyone, it's Lily, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw an ellipse and how to calculate eccentricity. Okay, Hold so in order to create an ellipse, there are several things you'll need. We will need cardboard, a white sheet of paper, ruler, a pencil, 20 centimeters of string, and two push pins. Okay, so the first part needing to create an ellipse is folding our white blank paper in half in a hot dog style. This will give us a straight line through the middle of our paper. In order to actually create an ellipse, we will need a problem. The problem that I have shown today says, draw two foci 2.5 centimeters apart. Following what the question says, I am taking my ruler and I'm locating the center of the page. I will first draw my first foci on the zero centimeter side. I am then going to draw my second foci 2.5 centimeters. This will cause a distance of 2.5 centimeters apart. After we have drawn the two foci 2.5 centimeters apart, I am taking two push pins and I am placing them directly on the foci. Next, I am going to take the 20 centimeter long string and wrapping it around the push pins. Next, I'm taking my pencil, holding it as far as I can, and going around in a circular motion with the push pins. After I finish my ellipse, I'm going to label the two foci. I'm labeling one foci one and one foci two, which is going to be the sun. After we have finished drawing our ellipse, we will find the eccentricity of it. The formula for eccentricity is E equals D over L. D is going to equal our distance between the two foci. L is going to equal the length of the major axis. Now that you understand the formula for eccentricity, let's apply it to our ellipse. Now the distance, like I said before, is going to be between the two foci. Like it should be, the distance between the foci is 2.5 centimeters. <laughs> okay, so once you put 2.5 down for our distance, we're going to find our length. Our length is going to be the length of the major axes in the ellipse. The length is going to be 17.9. Now I'm going to take my calculator and divide the 2.5 by the 17.9. Now look at that number. No one wants to write that huge number. So what we're going to do is round to the nearest thousands place. This will give us the eccentricity value of 0 0.140 for our ellipse. I hope you have learned how to draw an ellipse and calculate its eccentricity. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you ace your practical.